When life gives you hibiscus petals in such abundance, what do you make with it? Well, you know, I come from Ghana, and in Ghana, we use these hibiscus petals to make sobolo. So let's make sobolo, friends. Here are my hibiscus petals, and what I do with them is I rinse them off first. They start releasing their pigments right away, and this is chilled water coming from the tap. And I rinse them by giving them a gentle agitation in the rinse water and leave it to sit for about a minute. And see what happens? That is the dirt that has settled on the bottom of the bowl. And that's like sandy. It's actually dust that settles on these petals while they wait for the next buyer. So it's important to rinse them at least one time. Now what is so bolo without your pineapple? The role pineapple plays in this chilled hibiscus beverage is just as valuable as the hibiscus petals themselves. As pineapple lends its fruitiness to this drink, which needs that fruity character. And our culinary ancestors decided that pineapple is the best route to go and they did not make a mistake there. Now the pineapple peel is included in this drink. Although it isn't edible, it has a lot of nutrients, especially vitamin C. So I just break them into pieces and I'm going to steep the pineapple peel with the hibiscus petals. So this is how I steep. Using hot water, of course, so you steep it just like you would tea. And to retain the heat, I cling film the bowl. And I let it sit on its own for a while. About 30 minutes, that's all it'll take. Giving me time to prep the rest of my pineapples and other ingredients. Now I'm making a lot of sobolo today, so I'm using two whole pineapples. One is extremely ripened, and that's already inside the bowl that this not so unripened one is joining. And that very ripened one is going to give us the true pineapple essence. The hibiscus petals have a sour taste to them, but it's not enough, in my opinion, for this beverage. So I boost the acidity with some lemons. I have used lime before in the past, so you can do that too, it's excellent. And after juicing, I set it aside. Next ingredient is some ginger. Ginger brings an earthiness, and it also helps the fruitiness of this beverage to be more prominent. Now, ginger also has its own medicinal properties. It is delicious, not only that, but it also has great nutrients. It is an antioxidant, it's an antibacterial ingredient, it's antifungal, so having it in here is like a win-win situation. We always aim for that. So I peel them first using a spoon and then I cut them into very small pieces. They've already been washed, so everything is set and ready to go. The next prepping phase is blending, starting with the ginger. Now, because this beverage is spiced, we're going to need some cloves, but you want to be very, very light-handed with the, the amount of cloves you add here because it can overpower things. This here is grains of saline, in my opinion. It is a very optional ingredient. Now, that brings a pepperiness to it, so if you don't have access to it, you can always use black peppercorns. Just keep in mind that the spices are only a supporting ingredient. You do not want them to overpower the beverage. I have added my sugar already into the mixing bowl, which will also become the serving bowl. So I'm trying to keep things really streamlined so that this preparation is easy peasy. So I am actually straining my ginger and the spice blend right into the mixing bowl. Next, we're going to juice these pineapples. A little more of the drinking water to move those blades, blend, and then strain. Now, I'm thinking of the final product. The way I want mine to look is to not have too much residue. Sobolo tends to settle a lot of residue on the bottom of the drink as it sits. I don't fancy that. So when I'm straining, I'm keeping that in mind. I am not forcing the juice through. I just let it sit in the strainer and let it, it drain naturally and organically that way, all right? And that's just me. 
because I wanted to be pulp free. And best believe all this pulp will not go to waste. Yes, imagine the pulp in your daily fruity smoothie and that is exactly what we use that for. Next, we are straining the lemon juice right into the mixing serving bowl. While all of that preparation was going on, the pineapple peels and the hibiscus petals were steeping and they're done. So we're straining those also into the mixing serving bowl. Keeping it all streamlined, looking nice and clean, and the aroma is refreshing already. Now we can extract some more. So use some drinking water to rinse the pineapple peels and the hibiscus petals. Also go in with your hand and just crush them so that you can get as much juice as possible. And then strain. Now. The pineapple peels and the hibiscus petals still have a lot to offer. So I put them into a Ziploc bag and they go into the freezer for my next hibiscus tea. Now here I am just removing this foaminess from the top of the drink. You don't have to, as it sits, it will go away, but your sister, madam, just ain't got the time today, okay? So I remove that and then I go in and start stirring. Remember the sugar went into the mixing serving bowl first it's still on the bottom so we're just gonna stir it in it's starting to already dissolve so that was a good idea to put that in first stir until everything is dissolved and combined homogeneously and serve you need some ice because this is a chilled sweetened beverage and i tell you you follow this recipe friends whew, you're going to enjoy this sobolo guaranteed I know this because I have served it at several events before and the guests could not believe they were drinking sobolo mainly because the sobolo that most of us are used to are overly spiced with the cloves the wintia and the other spices used however this one gives you more of a fruitiness that our palates are searching for all right especially when we're drinking chilled and sweetened beverage notice also how the drink allows light to pass through it it is translucent and very very pretty it isn't cloudy at all because the color of the blended spices can alter the translucency into a cloudiness if not used in moderation also all of that pulp wasn't forced through the strainer which all comes together to make a huge difference in the final presentation. I truly hope you're inspired by the recipe and the tips. I hope you do try it and come back with your feedback. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well also watch more videos it is chop time and here in anabas kitchen chop time is always yes friends so pull up a chair we are all friends and family here <laughs>